How to integrate augmented reality usage in tourism. The tourism industry is always looking for innovative ways to enhance the visitor experience. In recent years, augmented reality has emerged as a promising technology that can take tourism to new immersive heights. Integrating AR into tourism offerings can bring destinations alive, provide interactive experiences and create memorable moments for visitors. However, effectively adopting AR requires strategic planning, investment and execution. Watch until the end as we explore every AR destination you can think of. So, what is augmented reality and how does it work? Augmented reality refers to technology that superimposes computer-generated content onto the real world, enhancing the user's perception of reality. Unlike virtual reality, which fully immerses users into a simulated environment, AR supplements the existing environment. This is achieved by overlaying visual elements, sound, GPS data, and moreover, what the user sees in their surroundings in real time. Modern AR experiences typically utilize smartphone cameras and sensors. When the camera points at a pre-programmed site or trigger image, the AR app recognizes it through computer vision technology and anchors the virtual content to the trigger point. As the user moves their device, the overlaid AR content tracks and adjusts its position accurately. This creates the illusion that the virtual elements are a part of the real-world environment. Apps may also leverage positional tracking to anchor AR assets based on GPS coordinates. Current AR Capabilities AR technology has evolved tremendously thanks to rapid advancements in smartphone capabilities, digital mapping, AI, computer vision, and 5G connectivity. Sophisticated AR experiences are now possible on consumer devices. With AR, Detailed information overlays can appear right over points of interest to give bite-sized facts, images, and even translated text to include visitors from all over the world. If you've ever seen historical ruins and wondered what a site used to look like long ago, AR can recreate immersive 3D models of full structures and landscapes right before your eyes, whether overlaying their modern remains or seemingly building them out of nothing where they once stood tall. It lets you visualize a heritage site's original or former splendor. AR can even populate the area with lifelike virtual humans and animals to make it seem like you're stepping back in time. For guided tours, AR has digital docents that can accompany you through destinations, giving you tailored facts and navigation assistance based on which paths you take. Spatial mapping and visual cues overlay directions right onto the sites in front of your eyes. AR can even translate these directions on the fly to break any language barriers. If you want to explore more playfully, AR scavenger hunts and games send users on virtual quests to uncover clues and solve puzzles in the very real world around you, using that overlaid AR information. When multiple people join in, it becomes a social adventure. AR also shines when you need some wayfinding. Intuitive turn-by-turn -turn navigation can appear in mid-air along your route, with icons and animations leading the way to points of interest, constantly updating to reflect how much further you have left to go. For tourism brands, immersive AR experiences boost engagement and satisfaction across the board. Turning static, everyday displays into interactive 3D scenes makes them more attention-grabbing and meaningful to each visitor. It delivers that wow factor that captivates people's imagination, so much so that they want to share the experience across their social circles. That visibility bolsters the prestige of the associated brand or destination. AR can also respond dynamically to individual viewers based on data like their interests, demographics, and location to tailor the experience, lending more personal relevance that resonates on an individual level. The flexibility of AR presentations, with options for different languages, mobility needs, annotation styles, and interactivity levels, makes them wonderfully accessible. By sustaining visitor attention, AR multiplies opportunities for tourism brands to deliver info, enable transactions, cross-sell related attractions, and strengthen branding overall. When AR makes visits more fun and personal, it transmutes tourism memories into unforgettable ones. Everything that adds up to visitor satisfaction and brand affinity is lifted to new heights. AR Integration Strategy and Planning 
While AR's appeal may tempt some tourism organizations to jump into adoption too quickly, laying robust foundations using a phased approach is key to creating sustainable success with the tech. Planning critical, technical, and operational requirements helps control costs while opening avenues to add capabilities over time. Securing buy-in To build executive and stakeholder confidence in AR's ROI, it is prudent to have well-researched statistics on its established traction and commercial potential. Useful metrics include existing user rates, revenue, and investment growth tied to AR along with audience polling, revealing positive sentiment. With numbers demonstrating the technology's rising adoption on their side, leaders are likelier to endorse exploring AR integration. Defining Goals and KPIs Like any technology solution, AR must demonstrably further the adopting brand's strategic goals like boosting foot traffic by 15%, creating buzz through shares, or elevating perceived modernity. The goals that using AR aims to drive progress on should be made clear from the outset, along with key performance indicators to track its impact towards those goals. Maintaining focus on concrete business objectives and returns will underline AR's purpose. Auditing assets, data, and infrastructure. While visitors will interact with AR through apps and front-facing triggers like signs and markers, these must be powered by compatible back-end technology, accurate underlying data, and optimized connectivity. An audit reveals what foundations are already AR-ready versus areas needing enhancement. This covers Wi-Fi bandwidth, back-end software, CMS features, digital asset formats 2D, 3D, data structure, and metadata schema. Selecting AR vendors or tools Leading AR firms leverage dedicated sensors, depth mapping, and spatial AI to deliver accurate tracking and realistic visuals. While native development using AR libraries produce tailored results, Working with an experienced AR vendor simplifies creation. Popular platforms provide out-of-the-box templates. Comparing options on targeted devices' OS support, UI, remote content updating ability, and analytics helps determine ideal partners. Defining rollout scope and timelines. Rather than tackling full adoption immediately, start small and then scale sensibly. Audit top visitor touch points and consider initial integration into one site section or location only. Within this defined scope, assign phased rollout stages, a modest pilot experience followed by optimization, then expansion across further sites. Realistic timeframes should account for asset digitization, app development cycles, and post-launch metrics analysis adjusting one to two years out. Visitor Journey Mapping Plot out typical visitor journeys through locations destined for AR. Identify key sites they pass and pain points face there like confusion or lack of accessibility. These journey maps reveal prime spots where AR assistance can provide the most value early on, along with secondary locations to address later. Prioritizing AR placement where it seamlessly enhances their path makes adoption more intuitive. Staff Training To deliver helpful guidance around AR rollouts, customer-facing teams and partners should undergo training. This demystifies how the technology works for them while outlining its benefits, appropriate usage, troubleshooting, and ability to collect visitor data. Familiarizing personnel allows them to become AR advocates who cheerlead public adoption. Rollout and Optimization With planning complete, targeted AR activations may commence across predetermined venues and visitor touchpoints. To spur adoption, prominently position signage or triggers explaining accessibility options and value. Seek visitor feedback through surveys and social listening while closely monitoring analytics on engagement. Be prepared to tweak experiences based on quantitative data and qualitative visitor input. Refine over time to maximize AR's ability to boost enjoyment, awareness, and interactivity against core KPIs. Scaling up AR 
As expertise and confidence with AR builds, expansion across further sites and use cases gets easier over subsequent phases. Scaling could involve enriching details within initial AR content or broadening engagement through multiplayer gameplay mechanics. Updating legacy installations with hybrid AR, blending physical theming and touchscreens builds continuity. Over the long term, AR can transform spaces like entire heritage sites into interconnected virtual worlds, bridging time and distance. The possibilities are truly endless for travel brands embracing augmented reality technology in earnest. Early AR Adoption Standouts in Tourism Tech-savvy organizations are already discovering AR's dividends, offering inspiring examples of innovative integrations across tourism. Marriott Hotels Teleporter The hotel chain's 4D AR pods at several locations use projection mapping, spatial audio, and olfactory tricks to transport guests to exotic virtual destinations like Hawaii. Their Teleporter AR game lets friends compete to collect points in virtual worlds modeled after real travel spots powered by Oculus Rift headsets. Machu Picchu's AR Storyteller app Peru's ancient Incan citadel partnered with Google to create a bilingual, downloadable smartphone app with AR content. Visitors point devices at landmarks to see 3D virtual extensions and infographics with historical details layered over the actual structures in a real-time camera view. Universal Studios Minion Lenses The family resort added a digital collection of animated Minion AR characters from the popular Despicable Me movie franchise that visitors can choose to appear in photos and videos taken around Orlando's parks using the official app. The digital Minions appear to interact with their real surroundings. The Reality of Mainstream AR Adoption While novel now, AR usage for travel is forecast to become widespread as the supporting technologies and creative expertise proliferate. Goldman Sachs predicts over 60% of the $100 billion global AR market will consist of consumer applications by 2025. With DigiCapital projecting 85% of smartphones being AR ready within five years, critical mass availability is imminent. 5G networks with enhanced capacity, connectivity range, and reduced latency will soon empower uninterrupted AR commerce everywhere consumers roam. As AR glasses and wearables shrink from bulky rigs to sleeker eyewear, integrating the tech's capabilities directly into sight lines without a phone buffer, a mass appeal can be ignited. Already, AR lenses on Instagram and Snapchat demonstrate social readiness. As comfort with gesture controls, voice commands, head motion stability, and computer vision improves, AR's reliance on touchscreens and markers fades, permitting intuitive interactions. Meanwhile, virtual beings and AI conversation partners are nearing realism. Before the decade closes out, AR could overhaul tourism engagement permanently through ambient computing powering seamless multi-dimensional guest experiences everywhere. The COVID-19 pandemic proved AR's resilience as touchless engagement, the kind it inherently enables, became crucial. Destinations adopting AR early reap benefits now while priming more future-proofed operations able to weather disruptions in a volatile world by transcending physical limitations. The stage is truly set for AR to assume a leading role in enriching travel just as global mobility resumes momentum.